my dream scenario is that somehow uh, Hunter Biden and Trump both get convicted. Now they're cellmates. Now they gotta, <laughs> they gotta share a bunk bed. <laughs> and you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. And maybe Diddy comes in. I don't know. But oh, listen, we we got a lot of people that might end up being cellmates in this in this talk today. <laughs> like, I was out this past weekend around people who didn't give a fuck about their health at all. Man, I was at UFC three hundred <laughs> two in Newark. <laughs> Uh, that is a fact. That is a fact. Putting their life on the line so uh, Dana White can get that bread. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I mean, they were not only fighting in the octagon. They were fighting in the nosebleeds, yo. <laughs> that guy slapped the shit out of the other guy. That was crazy, man. That was a crazy video. <laughs> it was impressive. It was impressive because... They were talking for a while. The the one guy, he anytime you got the high ground, you would think you got the advantage. Mm. And um, the tables got turned. The <laughs> tables just got turned. The one dude, he swung and fell back a, a, a row or two. But then he came back and he he put a whooping on him. He did. That right hand was doing all the work, but it was <laughs> it was landing. It was landing. <laughs> Yeah, man, it was crazy. Um, I feel like anyone who's screaming, I'm standing on business, eh, needs to get slapped. Um, but While they're sitting down. <laughs> but, How you standing sitting down? <laughs> but, yo, it's crazy, like, seeing one white person call another white person white boy, like, in a bad way. It's, it's really strange. So that was a crazy sight. But it was even crazier, man. You know, last time I went, what was it, um, UFC, I think it was like 298, the, the one at Madison Square Garden in November, mm -hmm. um, Trump came. And, you know, it's funny, before I went to the one in Newark, I was on the phone with my mom. She was like, oh, is, is the convict, is the felon going to be there? And I was like, you know what, I don't know, maybe he will. And that motherfucker showed up, man. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure the, the crowd went wild. Like he was one of the, he was a reigning champ stepping into the ring. <laughs> <laughs> literally bro they were like cheering for him like he was the second coming to jesus christ it was scary uh i just kind of was looking around like wow like i know it's pride month but you guys can stop sucking him off like it's, it's getting too much um see these grown men like chanting for trump um was a bit gross but um hey this is you know it's the ufc you know the fans aren't you know known to be the brightest people um, yeah. But, yo, the event was great, man. Is, um, you know, he took out Dustin Poirier in the fifth round, you know, finished him uh, in the submission. It, you know, the, uh, the rest of the card was okay. The energy mm -hmm. in the building, it was, it was pretty good. You know, yeah. we had some good finishes, but there's nothing like a New York uh, card in Madison Square Garden. And that was my last one, so it's a little bit hard to compare, but still a great time in Jersey, man. You know, I have some other Jersey events coming up this summer, so... Definitely look forward, looking forward to more uh, shit to do over here. But man, Trump, <laughs> that was his first public stop, you know, after getting, con <laughs> no, yeah, getting convicted, right? Mm -hmm. And how many yes. counts? How many yeah. guilty counts? 34. 34 counts. It's, a, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. Um, I know, man. Like, I just, you know, I found our old video we did last year when we were talking about, oh, you know, I think it's when they first charged him with this and or I think they were um, raiding his house or something like that. I don't know. But we were wondering if he could like run for president if he actually goes to prison. And we, you know, discussed someone like in the 1900s who ran for president from prison. And we said mm -hmm. this could actually happen. Yeah. And you were saying at the time, there's no way they're going to lock up, you know, an American president. Now yeah. that he's, you know, has these 34 uh, guilty charges he's a felon do you think that um he's gonna get uh, sentenced to prison because they sentenced him what july 11th listen um yeah so the sentencing is july 11th and literally that's just a few days before they're supposed to pick the uh the nominee for for the republicans and um even though he's convicted he can still vote and uh as long as he stays out of prison so if they don't lock him up then he's able to vote himself and, and all these other things. I do think that if you're convicted and you do prison time, then it, in some specific states, you're not able to actually run for a public office. Mm. Um, so that, that is a big factor in this. But again, there's no way that they're going to lock up a, a previous president. It's yeah. just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. 34 counts, though. That's crazy. I mean, it's, it's the lowest tier of felony charges. I mean, that, but that's a lot of charges. It is. It is. Um, it says, so 
it's supposed to be punishable up to four years in prison. Um, but again, it's going to be up to the judge. So we'll see what happens. But um, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to take into account his political stuff um, or the fact that he's the <laughs> president, which I would assume like I, you just have to take this stuff into into consideration when you think about sentencing. I I want to know what they're actually going to do, though. Me too, because Michael Cohen did some get some real time yeah. for the same crime. <laughs> like, <laughs> if they prove that Trump has something to do with this, because clearly that's what he was charged with, you yeah. know, 34 times. Um, I don't see how they don't give him prison time unless they are giving him, you know. Special treatment. I mean, it happens. He's the president. Uh, president. He was the president of the United States. He's not the president. But it is crazy to see. Like, I felt like I wasn't surprised to see him get a standing ovation because, like, I saw it happen months before. So I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, exactly. You know, his his fans. You know, his cult. You know, they, they don't give a fuck about what he's convicted of. If like, anything, like, I, I think there's a uh, a really big portion. Of the Republican Party that maybe was on the fence and he's convicted now and they're like bolstered by this. They're mm -hmm. like, listen, you convicted this guy because it's a witch hunt, because it's lies, because you just want to go against him. You see what good he's going to do for the country. <laughs> like they're delusional. They really believe this kind of stuff. Yeah, they I mean, really do. It's crazy. I mean, literally, they're the ones who say, oh, the election was stolen, even though this man was recorded asking for 11,000 votes. And also, <laughs> that's another charge. I need you to find me 11,000 votes. That's crazy. Yeah, that's something else he has to, like, fight. He, yeah. You know, that's where he got the mugshot for, for that case. And we'll see what happens there. But they're saying that might not even happen until after the election. Oh, wow. Because everything, a, a whole bunch of stuff was just getting pushed back. Damn. Slay. <laughs> it's 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 crazy that is crazy i mean i don't know i i hope he goes to prison because it would just be so entertaining to see him in prison i think they said like he'll still have like secret service i don't know how that'll work when you're in prison like how do you have secret service in or out of prison like how does that work but i think it'll be super entertaining seeing him go to jail he's saying the people won't stand for it man he's trying to call on his people the same people who crawled the same way he did J january 6th <laughs> I'm serious. Listen, this election come October, November, it's going to be wild outside. Yeah, it's going to be really crazy. There's going to be people marching because I'm of the belief that this guilty verdict, whatever happens between now and the election, it's not going to matter. I think Trump is going to be very competitive when it comes to the polls. <clears throat> I think that people are not excited about Biden. No. They're not excited about the things that he's doing um they, they view it as half measures um and and i think trump is going to be right back in that office yeah a lot of people feel that way the circus days. is back in town baby <laughs> i'm telling you it's 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 on the way oh my god I get mean, your guns <laughs> <laughs> for real i mean it's crazy because you know joe biden he you know the, the white house announced that they they're closing down the Mexico border for anyone yeah. seeking asylum. So yeah. it seems like there, you know, there's been kids in cages since Joe Biden's been in office, and it's like a lot of the things, you know, the uh, Democrats are fighting against Trump. Uh, Biden's just doing without, like, you know, any pushback. You know, I I think it's a, uh, it's all about perspective. It's all about what the media is able to cover and what they're willing to cover and things like that. I mean, a lot of these things were happening back when Obama was in office. Like, it's not, it's just some of it didn't make it to the news. Exactly. Um, I so, used to tell people all the time, like, Obama deported more people than anybody else. <laughs> it, that's, it's a fact. It is. It, and I think he still holds the record. So. Probably because he's the last person to have two terms. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, but I, I, I even think on like an annual basis, I think he still oh, really? like has yeah. the most. Yeah. So I, I don't know what's going to happen with this. Um, and and like now we've got the Hunter Biden trial thing going on. I know. Is this just the state of America? Like, you know, I mean, Joe Biden, you know, I know Trump tried to get some dirt on him from ukraine yeah um, he couldn't find any but they did you know federal the federal government did get hunter biden on some charges yes they um, did what is the gun charges when um oh his drug use because in the federal gun trial because what he um he wasn't legally supposed to have a gun right yeah so basically he's got a, a fe felony gun offense um because it's related to his uh drug drug uh issues and things like that in the past 
So there's a jury right now that's uh, been sworn in. Uh, Ten women, six men on the first day of the trial. Um, they went over the, the all the instructions and things like that. That happened yesterday. Okay. Um, but it's going to be interesting what happens with this. I, I think that, you know, they're really blowing this out of proportion. Who? Who is? I think the media. I think the, the, of course, the Republicans. Like, they're trying to do the same thing that happened with Trump, essentially. But this is, I, I feel like Biden might actually be clean and they can't find anything on him to actually try to go oh. after him with. So they're like, oh, your son's a fuck up. Like, we're going to go after him. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Biden's super, yeah. he's, he's a family guy, you know, Joe Biden, mm-hmm. and, you know, he said he stands by us. So a two-family guy. <laughs> R.I.P. Oh, that's fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> God damn, that's so dark. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you know what happened? It was right there. Oh, that's yeah, terrible, yeah, it was sad. Man. It was but, sad. I mean, that's probably why Hunter has his problems, because his mom died. He was in the car crash. Yeah. His infant sister died. His mom died. It was just the two boys left, so, yeah. you know, that's. That's trauma. And uh, Joe Biden's been outspoken in supporting his son. Um, Hunter Biden, you know, he's fighting his case, though. He's taking it to trial. Do you think that he actually does jail time? Um, Uh, He might. Or they might just give him a fine community service. Like, I I think between him and Trump, I think they're going to have similar outcomes. Mm -hmm. Like, give him a fine, make him do community service, and that's going to be it. Yeah. Like these rich elite whites, like they don't do nothing to them. They don't put them in jail. Like it just doesn't happen. Yeah. What are they going to, you really think they're going to put the president's son in jail over uh, buying a gun when he was on drugs? I mean, I don't know, man. I, t- I'll tell you my dream scenario. My dream scenario is that somehow uh, Hunter Biden and Trump both get convicted. Now they're cellmates. Now they got to <laughs> <they gotta laughs> share a bunk bed. <laughs> and, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. And maybe Diddy comes in. I don't know. But oh, Listen, we, we got a lot of people that might end up being cellmates in this in this talk today. <laughs> like, oh it's God. just, For it's real. crazy. It's crazy. No, that would be really funny, though. Imagine. Yeah. That'd be dope. I mean, yeah, Hunter. They so. could start their own show. That would be amazing. They would make a lot of money. Hell yeah. Hell and yeah. then they could run for, for office once they got out. <laughs> Honestly, it's so funny to see like Republicans call the Trump thing like a witch hunt and then act like Hunter Biden's like the president. He actually has the nuclear codes like... I, I can't I can't take nobody serious who takes Donald Trump serious as like a presidential candidate because he was so awful the first time around, man. He can't even handle his hoes, man. He can't even he can't. handle Stormy Daniels. He can't he can't keep a porn hose. star in line. Like For real. <laughs> and he paid her. He paid her and she still didn't get in line. <laughs> Bro, he paid her with campaign funds. He got uh convicted of doing that and his supporters gave him 58 million dollars to pay off his other hopes <laughs> like that's support man they gave him money quick too mm. right after he got found guilty everybody was like oh just give one dollar if you're a supporter he got 53 million dollars in like a day <laughs> it's crazy it's insane man so we'll see you it's know, nuts let those are num- those are voting numbers for real yeah 53 million mm. we'll see we'll see let us know guys who do you think is going to win the election. Do you think Trump is actually going to go to jail? Do you think Hunter Biden will do time? Do you think that they would be good cellmates? Let us know. <laughs> you know you know what uh, what Joe said when they asked about uh, the case with his son? He said, Jill and I love our son, and we are so proud of the man he is today. Hunter's resilience in the face of adversity and the strength he has brought to his recovery are inspiring to us. A lot of families have loved ones who have overcome addiction and know what we mean. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Chat GPT, thanks for, <laughs> for that <laughs> response. <laughs> oh, my God. How soon before we have AI run in the country? I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> I think China will do it first. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> don't well, listen, they was trying with TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe on YouTube, subscribe on Spotify, follow on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Like. All the apps, all the apps. We're everywhere. We Every. are everywhere. <laughs>